Rising data demands mean there is now an increasingly pressing need for quicker and more efficient rollouts of reliable networks to connect people and businesses. To deliver that, many operators globally are now pouring hefty investments into fiber broadband deployments. But how is the market performing so far? And how can telcos generate more revenues as investment costs keep rising? To discuss this, I'm now joined by Nokia VP of Broadband Networks, Heert Henning. Hi, Heert. So, as the head of fiber access business in Nokia, can you tell us how do you see the fiber market? It has been on the rise over the last few years. Is that going to change? Well, very clearly, if you look at the fiber market, there are three trends you can look at. First of all, is fiber going to increase and the rise of fiber going to continue? Yes, it will. If we see what's happening in the market, everybody starts deploying fiber, whether it's an MSO, whether it's small customers, big customers, governments, whether it's utility companies, all those different aspects, neutral hosts, all those different people are investing into fiber. So very clearly, there's a lot of investment money which is flowing into fiber deployment. A second trend that you can clearly see is the appetite for speed. You can see a take up of gigabit and multi gigabit speeds in an enormous way. From a worldwide perspective, there are around 500 networks which are delivering and offering a service above one gigabit. If you look just in North America, 85% of the operators are actually delivering one gigabit per service. And guess what? What is the best technology to bring gigabit and more? This is a fiber deployment. The last aspect I would like to highlight is there is a move from fiber to something towards fiber for everything. And that's a significant shift. What you see now is people have been deploying fiber for a while and you see fiber being uh, laid down everywhere. So it's available in the rural, it's available in the cities, it's available everywhere. Now, typically those fiber networks are being deployed for consumer market. And now since that fiber is available, you can connect new businesses, you can connect enterprises, you can connect smart city applications, you can connect mobile cell sites. So there's a lot of different applications that you can start offering basically on the same infrastructure. And this is generating additional revenue for our customers. So in your view, fiber for everything will generate more revenues for operators. Can you tell us how? Yeah, very clearly, like I already highlighted uh, very slimly uh, in the previous question, if you lay down a single fiber infrastructure and you keep on reusing it for new applications, obviously you are generating more revenue. An analysis Mason is actually projecting that SMEs will more than double the spend that they are doing on fiber broadband networks. And this in the next few years. If I look at a real life example, Telefonica has increased the amount of business customers that are connected to a PON network from 50% to 70% in just three years. So these are amazing growth numbers, which are showing the potential of a fiber deployment. If you think about smart cities, smart cities are using IoT devices to connect all sorts of different applications like a security camera, traffic camera, smart metering, traffic monitoring, uh, environmental monitoring, all the different aspects are really being used uh, or are being connected to as a fiber network. Now, you could decide to lay down a new network and start from scratch, but this involves digging, this, this is difficult and it takes time. So leveraging an existing fiber network, which is already there, definitely makes sense. Let me move to the mobile side. If you think about 5G deployment, this is traditionally being done or at least initially being done from, let's say, the current locations where you do a mobile network, but there will be a form of densification. Once you uh, walk towards millimeter wave or different sort of spectrum, you will go deeper into the network. And hence, you need to connect this towards the network. Pon fiber networks are there and you want to leverage this to backhaul this sort of capability. Operators like STC are today already using fiber for 4G and 5G backhaul. So very clearly, this is an advantage and this is something that can happen. The beauty of the whole thing is while you have laid down your fiber network with the intent to really get residential revenue, with very, very limited additional investment, you are unleashing those different services. And you could almost say this is pure margin gain. So this is really the beauty of, of leveraging your fiber for everything to generate more revenues and margin. 
That's a very good point there. And it sounds like fiber for everything can deliver new opportunities for operators. Why is it happening now? That's a good question. Um, basically, I would say in general, there are two reasons why it's happening now. First of all, let us not forget that fiber is really quite recent. The real deployment and laying out of fiber only happened 15 years ago. So now is only the time when there is abundant fiber, there's really fiber to each and every location, which you can start leveraging. So the first thing is you need to have fiber available. So that's one of the key enablers. And we are now at that stage. The second thing is about technology. Fiber technology has been evolving and there are quite some goodies which will help in that evolution towards fibers for everything. And let me really spell out two of them. One is speed and the other one is SDAN, Software Defined Access Networks. So moving some functionality into the cloud. So let me first zoom in on speed. Traditionally, our fiber networks are GPON, two and a half gigabit per second. Today, most of our deployments are 10 gigabit per second and are capable of 25 gigabit per second. So this is what we can do today. Tomorrow, we can add 50 gig, we can add 100 gig. So all those future speeds are going to happen into your fiber network. And you really need that raw speed in order to make sure that you can deliver all the services I was talking about in the past. The second piece is software defined access networks. So if you start thinking about connecting IoT devices, smart cities towards your network, you suddenly have an explosion of the amount of devices that you need to connect on your fiber network. So you cannot longer manually sort of manage your network. You really need to automate and to simplify your network. And this is something that has done brings as an asset so you can massively automate and you can simplify the way you operate your network. There's a second reason why SDAN is really helping you in delivering this sort of services. If you think about a service and you want to configure a service, you want to make very specific configurations for a service. If something is going wrong in your network, you only want to see that part of the network which is relevant for this specific service. So you want to be able to zoom in into a fault. If you want to see something on traffic cameras, you don't want to zoom in into my home. You want to have a virtual view on your network, which is just zooming in on that specific service. And that's a concept that we call slicing. And this concept is being introduced based on the SDAN Software Defined Access Networks technology. So are operators embracing these new technologies and trends? Yeah, absolutely, they do. If I take it into two pieces, first of all, about the bandwidth. This is about the 25 gig pop. This is being trialed or deployed by more than 30 customers worldwide and including very famous names like AT&T, BT OpenReach, Telefonica. So we have a lot of people, operators who are really deploying this technology. In 2022, KPN has announced that they are using the 25 gig pond to connect health enterprise customers. EPB Chattanooga has connected their convention center. Hotwire is using this to connect MDU users. So it is very clear that this technology is being used and being picked up. From an SDAN perspective, so moving some of the capabilities into the cloud, this is a general trend that we are seeing across the world. More than hundreds of operators are really evolving into this direction. And this allows for the massive automation. The slicing itself is a bit more new. So from a slicing deployment perspective, we have announced two customers who are deploying slicing being Metrotel and American Towers in their network. So this is also the proof point that indeed this technology is mature and allow us to deploy this sort of services. The combination of those two technologies is really enable the fiber for everything mantra that I've been talking about in the previous questions. Well, it appears that significant progress has already been made in the fiber broadband market, but also many more opportunities are being unlocked as the technology evolves. Here, thank you for speaking with us today. Thank you.